I spoke to an officer of the Department of Homeland Security of ICE, and he said that they don't have the resources, that at this time they are trying to deport people that have final orders of removal and are criminals, convicted criminals, okay? Therefore, people should not be fearful if you're citizens. If you're a resident, if you have a criminal history, then consult with an attorney. Now my message to the residents, why haven't you applied for citizenship? Mi mensaje para los residentes, ¿por qué no solicitaron la ciudadanía? ¿Qué razón? ¿Consultaron con un abogado? Did you consult with an attorney to determine whether or not you're eligible? If you have it, you should. You're most likely eligible. And if you do have a criminal history, that criminal history may not disqualify you for naturalization. Get the road. Get the road. Si tienes una historia criminal, tal vez esa historia no te va a descalificar para la ciudadanía. The majority of the residents that come into my office regarding citizenship that do have some sort of criminal history are still eligible for naturalization under the laws of the United States. But you got to get informed. There are people that are going to hate you. There are people that are going to criticize you. But once you're naturalized, you have all the rights of anybody else that was born in this country. Hay personas que te van a dar, que van a tener odio contra ustedes. Ustedes no se tienen que dejar. El momento que ustedes hacen ciudadanos, tienen todos los derechos de una persona nacida aquí en los Estados Unidos. No se dejen. Si tienen dudas, si quieren información, consulten con un abogado verdadero, experto en la materia de inmigración. If you have doubts, consult with an expert of immigration law so they can inform you. Get informed and naturalize. Because once you naturalize, you could vote for the people that you want to vote for. Oh, promoting, the vote promoting. Whoever you want to vote for. That's the American way. But do not subject yourself to being bullied. And realize that there are people out there that want to help you. People in your city that want to help you. People in your county that want to help you. People in your churches or temples that want to help you. And also, representatives of your state that want to help you. Now a lot of these people, if they're not happy living in this state, they could always move to a red state. So